Hello there. Welcome to the Tableau Jedi channel. Today we're going to be talking about distinct counts. We're going to be working off of the Global Superstore 2016 data set. I have a link to download this data set. If you want to go ahead and pause, and go ahead and download it, and then start it up when you're ready. We're going to talk about distinct counts. Distinct counts are very critical to data analytics. Whether it be in patients in a hospital, finding out the number of planes in an airline, or a unique retail transaction, which is what we're going to be looking at. On the spreadsheet here, this is a flattened model from a relational database. It's a result set from multiple joins. Well, as you can tell, I have certain areas highlighted. You have order ID, this is primary key. You notice on row ID 1, you have one particular order ID number. Well, the next five is going to be the same. If it's the same transaction or the same person, but you can obviously see in the atomic level that it's different products. Well, in this flattened model, you're going to want to find out exactly how many transactions took place. Now, if you look down here, your count is 51,000. But what that is, realistically, is now it's, 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 it's showing all the duplicates in here. So it's adding up all of them. There is a way to do it in Excel. We're not going to go over that. But I'm going to show you how to very easily do it in Tableau. So here we go. It's very simple ways to do it. Here is the easiest way. Go to order ID, drag it to the sheet, or you can drag it to rows. Now you right click, go down to measure, and see the options you have. And the last one is count distinct. You have a distinct count. Now notice it went from 51,000 plus, now it's down to 25,000. That's going to give you a more accurate description, that's going to give you the accurate description of the amount of transactions that took place. Now keep in mind that's very easy, but keep in mind it strictly does a table calculation. So if you're going to use this measure, convert it from a dimension to a measure, you are going to have to do this over and over again. So that's one way. It doesn't carry over. Let me show you the other two ways, which are very similar to each other. You can also go to order ID, right click on it, create, calculated field. We are going to go ahead and let's name this order ID count. Here's your dimension. Over here, you can do it by categories, but count D, the distinct count, is very close here, so I just scroll down to it. This is your distinct, distinct count, count D. Double click on it, and notice it comes up. Now notice the calculation contains error. It's not right. Well, you're going to have to take this and put it in the brackets there. Cut, go inside your parentheses, and paste. Now, notice what it says, the calculation is valid. That's, that's one way. If you want to, and, and once you do that, then it will be permanently placed on the measures card. Here's the way I like to do it. We'll X out of this and we'll do it again. Go up here to this arrow, drop it down. This is going to give you your option to create a calculated field, create a parameter, so on and so forth. I'm going to go ahead and create a calculated field. Once again, I am going to name this order ID count. Go over here. Like I said, your count D is close, so you just scroll down, double click on it. Notice the it says calculation contains errors. 
Okay, so here's what you do is just grab it and bring it over. You see that arrow? That's where it's going to land. So put it inside the parentheses, drop it in there. And what does it say? The calculation is valid. And press OK. So let's play around with this now. Now remember, on the Excel sheet, let's look at it again. On the rows, it counts 51,000. So now let's play around with this. Bring this measure, your order ID count, which is, has, has the distinct count, drop it to sheet, okay? 25,000. Let's make a pie chart out of it real quick. So we'll go pie, size it a little bigger here. All right, let's slice and dice it by category. Bring your category to color. Go back down and grab your measure. Bring it at angle. Let me stop right here. And the reason why you want to bring it at angle is look at the numbers. This is 8,000 plus. This is 8,000 plus. This is 19,000. But all the angles are, are the same. This is why you want to bring it at angle. So take it back up. Bring it at angle. And notice now it's more of a representative of that. And you can go from there and make it a donut chart or whatever. So this is how you do a distinct count in Tableau. And also, the first one is very easy, but it's only it only does the sheet calculation there. Now you have a permanent measure here, your order ID count. Well, if you enjoyed the video, please like it and subscribe for future Tableau tutorials. I also do Tableau freelance work. If you have a project that you need help with, send me a message. Enjoy the rest of your day.